Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and of course we are following the Patch Tuesday rollout just to uh, answer a few questions. Some of you have asked questions about it and um, basically we are also looking at how well it's rolling out. You know, it happens sometimes that Microsoft messes things up. Well, first on the rollout itself, it seems to go pretty well for the most part. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, how long does it take for you to have these updates? Well, if you count the download because you know I left it like the Windows update page open on uh, the settings and I'd say that the download plus install all of it I don't know 10 to 15 minutes everything was done now there were several updates separate updates in here one of them is the uh, Windows ma uh, malicious tool so um, if you are on Windows, of course, there's a tool that is updated every month and the malicious software removal tool is one of them. It contains code of some of the most well-known malware that it can detect and remove from your PC when you actually start up. That's always updated on Patch Tuesday, first of all. So when you see this every month, it's normal and it's actually, you want to have this because it does protect you. Uh, on some of the known um, malware and viruses out there. Then, uh, a lot of people have been asking me, the, uh, a couple of weeks back I talked about a task scheduler uh, flaw that was discovered by a user called Sandbox Escaper, and he discovers flaws, security flaws, quite regularly. And of course he had decided to announced this without telling Microsoft about it because he said that it was just too complicated to tell Microsoft about these things. A lot of you have asked, is that fixed in here? Yes, it's part of the fixes in here. Actually, there are four separate fixes that actually have been found by that guy that have been fixed in this month's security patches. So it gives you an idea that, uh, well, at least they're listening in and fixing the problems. There is a Flash Player update. I didn't mention it yesterday, but yes, there is a Flash Player update. That's every month. I mean, it's really time that Flash Player actually disappears. Some of you have asked and said, well, you know, I get this Flash Player update. Isn't Flash Player supposed to be gone now? It's still there and it's going to be removed only in 2020. So about a year from now, we'll uh, have the Flash Player uh, disappear from our PCs. So uh, that means that there's, it's still there, and if you go to some web pages, especially some of the web pages that have games, online games, a lot of them still use Flash. So uh, yeah, you can activate Flash for some of the websites. It's still in the browsers. Uh, it's not a separate thing. It's now included within the browsers. Some of you have been asking me about how the browsers are secure. Uh, Internet Explorer 11 and Edge, well, both of them had several security flaws yesterday that were patched, so it's important to uh, do that. And, of course, if you use Google Chrome, it doesn't matter because Chrome is, you know, on its own, patched on its own with its own updates. So that's why you got to keep your browsers up to date, because that's how it works. Um, and finally, well, if you do have some issues with Patch Tuesday, remember that you can download all of these updates manually via the Microsoft Update Catalog, which is a place where sometimes when it just doesn't want to install through the Windows Update itself, you can actually install it uh, by downloading the, these patches and installing them. So uh, this is pretty much um, something you can do. And you know, sometimes they don't if they don't install through Windows Update, they actually will install when you do it manually. For some reason, there are some things sometimes that happen. And remember, if you're using software like uh, CCleaner, stuff like that, there's often, often, these software, these um, programs are actually um, do interfere with uh, Windows Update. And sometimes Windows Update can't work, not because of Windows itself, but because the third-party software is actually preventing it from working well. So it's important to know that. Apart from that, well, that seems to go well. Uh, I still want to say that if you haven't done the Windows Update uh, patches for yesterday, do it. There's a few. Um, there's a few critical, um, critical patches in there. Critical meaning some bad guys are probably already exploit these uh, flaws, and if they don't, well, now they know about it, so they will soon. 
and of course a lot of important updates important meaning that it's not you know um, something that you can exploit now but it's better to fix it to make sure everything's all right so patch Tuesday all that seems to be going well and uh, hope that everybody's having a safe and a good install just check your Windows update Windows 7 8.1 and 10 are having patches since yesterday if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching